Hey guys, Rich with uh, Dead Tree Arc says, welcome to the computer desk. Uh, I got a sweet arcade stick that I use from time to time. Uh, I don't like it being so vertical and it also kind of slides around the desk a little bit. I don't like putting it on my lap because that's just weird. But, uh, so I want to build something that kind of sits at an angle, kind of like this. Uh, and holds it firmly in place. So, uh, let's make something. Um, this has got some little sticky pads on the bottom, but that doesn't really keep it in place. I kind of want to get something that comes up and really hugs the edges here. And then, like I said, kind of the main point being that it tilts it a little bit, because that's how the arcades used to be, right? And see what it's doing this, I just can't do it. So yeah, let's figure that out. All right, so here we are in the computer, figuring out how to uh, like figure out the angle and whatnot. I don't know how to use SketchUp. I don't really care. I'll figure it out eventually. I know how to use Illustrator though, so bug it. We'll just use this. So I'm going to do new, oh geez, it's going to be, landscape, uh, hmm, Seven, so, the, so the joystick is 17 by 9, it doesn't need to be full, full size, so I'm going to shrink it down, we'll, we'll say, we'll cut it in half, so I'll just make it a normal piece of paper here, uh, and then I'm going to make a rectangle, and so let's see if my, um, joystick is 17 by 9. Let's cut that in half and let's say 8.5 by 4.5. You know what? Let's just do it full size, 17 by 9. And then I can just print it to fit on a piece of paper, but this will help me figure out the, the height of the angle and the dangle of the mangle. Uh, how do I grab the artboard? How do I convert the size of the artboard? I haven't used Illustrator in a while. But that's fine. I don't really care. You know what? In fact, I'm going to just zoom out. And I'm going to take my object. I'm just going to work over here on the side for a sec. Alright. Just ignore the... Pay no attention to the artboards. Okay, so I've got this. I've got another uh, rectangle, which is, oh, let's say six by the height is two. All right, so this represents the edge of my desk. And I'm gonna drag that out. So I need a, a couple points of reference. So this is the top down area, which I really don't actually need that much. I know my desk is two inches thick right here. And I know that um, the full length of the, that the width of the, joystick here is nine inches and it's 17. I don't know how tall it is. I guess I should figure out that dimension as well. So let's see. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It's two and a two and a quarter tall. So now let's make a representation of the side of the joystick, which is going to be two and an inch or two and a quarter tall. And then the width will be this distance here, which is nine, oops, nine inches, okay. And then I also know that I wanted the back of the joystick to be two and a half inches off the desk at the point where it hits. And so I kind of decided out of nine inches, I want six and a quarter until I hit the corner of the desk, which leaves more on the front. Um, and so I guess I should also make another rectangle that represents where it's going to intersect. So that's going to be instead of 9, it's going to be 6.25. This will all make sense in a sec. And then I'm going to put this on top of the other path. So this becomes the uh, the fulcrum where I want, like, I want the edge of the desk to hit right here. And I know I want the back to be raised up 2.5 inches. So then let's do one more box just for giggles. And I'm going to say it doesn't matter how, t how long it is. Let's make it 5. And then let's say... Uh, 2.5 inches tall. So now this represents 
this line right here represents the height that I want it to be off the desk. So again, this all makes sense in a second. I'm just gonna group these together. And then when I rotate this, this becomes the height, right? So I want that corner to hit the desk right there. And I want it to be two and a half inches off the desk. Is that two and a half inches? Is that right? That seems kind of high, but that's correct. Okay. And so it's gonna have, uh, this needs to be rotated further. Right, so the fulcrum hits right there. Get this piece out of the way for a sec. I actually don't think I need anything that represents the top. Uh, I can actually take the rotation point. Oh, can I? Or can I? That's the center. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because they're grouped, I can't do that. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to futz around with it a little bit like this. And then move it down. And then a little bit further. Sure. So that's two and a half inches off the desk, six and a quarter inches to the point of contact, and then it hangs over the desk. Uh, what's this is six and a quarter? Uh, so nine inches. So that gives me 3.75 inches hanging over the edge of the desk. And so this is what the joystick is going to look like from if you were to take a picture from here, from the side view, coming at the, I guess actually from here because this is the right hand side of the of the joystick. So if I was to draw the rest of the joystick in place, here's the here's the joy and here's the stick, baby. Yeah. I get that a lot. Here's my beautiful representation. All right, and so now what this allows me to do in Illustrator, because I'm because I know how to use Illustrator. Uh, send it back. Okay. So now I could look at this uh, at this angle, I guess. Can I do that? And that'll tell me what angle it needs to be at. Um, so when I'm cutting this here, I guess, how do I figure that out? Hmm. Isn't there like a measuring tool that I can use some sort? Hmm. There's a line tool. And I could come in here. That's 180 degrees. If I click at this point, and then I go shift click up here. Oh, hmm. What's the best way to do this? 26 degrees. Yeah, 26 degrees, so it looks perfect. It's a little off. Let's say instead of 26, let me take this anchor point and drag it down. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, 26 degrees, man. Uh, I guess it's a little high. Let's do one more. Fuck it. I'll put it here and I'll say 20. A little bit lower is going to be 25 degrees, right? That's going to represent the angle. And that's all I really wanted to do in Illustrator was figure out what the angle of the dangle. I'm going to say even less than that. I'm just going to keep playing with this because I can. Alright, so I've got this big piece of, uh, I want to say birch, plywood, I bought a Lowe's. I'm going to use it to make a uh, crosscut sled, but it's a little large, so I'm going to use this as the base. Uh, so let's see. Alexa, turn on the vacuum. All right, well that dries, I can take my ears off. 
Uh, well, that dries, I need to figure out how I'm going to get a 22 degree angle, and this looks like a beautiful little piece that I could use. If I could cut it, maybe like across here, I can end up with a 22 degree angle. Oh, geez, let's see. How am I going to do this? Let me think. Here's my pencil. So from the corner to here is 22 degrees. Okay, so that's one. And then from the corner to corner to here. No, this corner, right? It's all getting very complicated all of a sudden. Hmm, speed square. How to speed square. Please send tell. Alright, from this corner now to here is 22 degrees. Like that. So then this comes across from this corner to that mark. Right? That would make sense. Okay, so this is crap. This is 22 degrees. This is 22 degrees. Alright, so I got a bunch of these that have some 22 and a half degree angle on them somewhere. Um, so now what I gotta do is kind of play around with some of these. This one, this, these aren't bad. This is the one that's bad right here. I guess I could clamp it up and plane it, maybe. These are good. These two are good. So what I should do, I should agree upon the front edge that I'm going to use for these. And then just make a clean cut straight across those. So I'm going to clamp these up. Alright, so you didn't see, but I just took them over to the chop saw. Lined up all the edges so that this angle is smooth, and then just knocked them all off at the same. Uh, actually, yeah. That. And then these two seem to be the, the nicest ones that I have, so maybe I'll just use these. Maybe I'll just have two instead of three. But now that allows me to line these up. These up. And if it's not making sense, if it's not obvious by now. I kind of just like to eyeball shit. It's rare that <laughs> all my pieces, I don't, I don't work off a blueprint, so I just kind of start cutting shit. I'd be like, yeah, this looks good. So maybe one of these two, maybe I'll make three. Maybe I'll do just for the sake of evenness. I'll have this one and this one on these sides. And then these two. And this little guy right here. Let's make a nice cream sandwiches. Okay, cool. So then I should have these line up also with the front edge. 
And again, I'll do that over on the chop set real quick. I'm not going to move the camera, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay. So that gives me a nice... Because these are all the same angle, as long as these edges line up, like basically I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of glue these up. And then when I set them, then I can determine, you know, at that point I will need to measure and make sure that it lines up, but then I will make it so they, they all agree on this edge and then glue them to the bottom of the base in that position. Okay. Secret ingredient. It's good to have one of these little rolly rollers and a warm water to dip it in. Probably just gonna make a mess and just try to wipe it up before it dries. But yeah, basically, um, there's not really a way to line. Maybe I'll even once I get it all. Yeah, I mean, that's tits. I can kind of line it up on this edge and make sure that these, like these lines here, make sure that these are the same. I don't want one out here and one back here. And I mean, it'll be pretty obvious when I start to get it glued. But these are going to be the pieces that actually get the glue. Right. Just make a mess. Scrap wood over there. Make a mess. Right. This is going to be on the underside of the unit, so it doesn't have to be beautiful. It just has to be stable. And then these edges do. I do want them to line up this time. So I'm going to kind of do that. There. Oh, and then everything moves when you clamp it, because God forbid, it just holds still. Okay, so at this point, my glue has set enough that I'm not worried about it. switch out some of my clamps for these Bessies because I needed it. Oh, needed to clamp the ankles. Oh, but Rich, are you suggesting that you need more clamps? Mm-hmm. If it's in there, there's a little bit of slop there, I'd say. I mean, I knew it was going to be, and that's the thing, is it's going to angle this way. So, uh, gravity will hold it in place. But I really wonder if I shouldn't. I don't want to sandwich it in there, because I still have to reach under here and get to those buttons. And it's got this stupid angle cut right here that, like, when you want to sandwich it up against the side, that just lifts up the base and makes it lame. So I think it is good having a having a wide enough thing there. It's not going to jump out on 360 pile driving scrubs on the internet.
Alright, so here's what I got so far. I got this thing. Alright. I got these things. Okay. So, pretending that this is the edge of my desk, I'm gonna do beam bomb boom. One, two, three. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. Front edges don't line up perfectly. That's interesting. I can't, so the problem with that planer is that I can't run two through at the same time to make sure these are both straight and that these are both straight and then these are all straight. But I can see, well, these are the two outside edges. This one's got a higher lip right here. This looks pretty, well, uh, it's a little bit taller here. It's catching and it's catching. Hmm. I'm not gonna bother moving the camera, but I'm gonna run them across the planer just a little, a couple more times and see if I can't smooth that out. One pack of Menudos, Makudos. Let's decide the pack of Makudos is how far out they go. Look at me, I'm measuring. I'm so proud of myself. Makudos. Macanudos. Shit, man, I don't smoke cigars. I'm smoking these little tiny Japanese cigarettes. They'll give you hope. Rumor has it that the uh, there's a little arrow on the on the on the package here and the Hope cigarettes were always smoked by the Yakuza and the, and the mob boss would like turn the arrow to determine who was going to be the next to die. I don't know if that's true. One of the teachers in Japan when I taught English over there taught me that so he was always kind of full of shit though so maybe not. Alright cool so this is a good clean edge here so I will take the three seconds to do this as I glue up each one to make sure that it is true to that edge. So let me make a mess. Okay, just for giggles, I'm gonna use my brad gun here because these are gonna be hard to clamp into place without sliding around. So I figure I'll just give them a brad or two, like bam, bam, right there, just to hold them in place so then I can apply downward clamping pressure and they won't slide back and forth. I bet I'm gonna go through and into this and I don't care so I'm just calling it out if it happens it wasn't an accident I knew it was gonna happen I'm gonna start in the middle and then I'm gonna mac a noodle out from each direction uh, so let's make a mess with some glue Here's it. the clamps a lot. Give them the old clampinati, Columinati. 
Put those through your body. Like a 12 gauge shotty. Alright, I've also got, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I've got some dowel. Uh, I just had three pieces tied together up there. With the lumber. I've got some thick pieces, but even though I'm okay with drilling holes in my desk, I don't want them to be stupid enormous, right? I also, oh, whatever. Do I know what size this is? I guess I can look at the label. 3 8 by 48 inch, so it's 3 8 of an inch. And I've got 3 8 of an inch bits, right? In my garbage ass, 3 8 So that's the size that I'll drill in my desk. And then I'll line it up. Well, yeah, what I'll do is when that's done and it's dry, I'll bring it into my desk, I'll drill four holes through it. And I'll bring it back out here. And through those four holes, I'll run the dowel. Party foul. Alright, I managed to throw a beer on the ground. Turns out my shop back sucks, or doesn't suck. Dry enough. I'm busting at Brad Nails. Oh, that shit's going anywhere. Alright, so this I'm going to take in my room and plot out some holes in my desk. So let me get a good 3 8 inch. Alright, so here we go. Desk. I'm going to kind of line it up center with the monitor. Not go crazy. And then just I gotta get flip flops on. I'm like walking out here barefoot with broken glass everywhere. You know, thinking back, the better thing to do for this, the reason that this work came out so clean is because it was up against the desk and clamped into place. The smarter thing would have been to take a piece of scrap wood and drill through, which would have eliminated the tear out that hits, you know. Say la vie. The next thing up is to mount the base of the fighting stick on here. And I don't want it to go too far. I don't want it to be too tall. I don't want to choose right, Goldilocks. I'm just gonna do this. Do it like we do with the peanut butter girl. Lube and mount. And just push it through until I can feel it on either side. Lube and mount. Uh, that one can use a little bit more lube, I think. I want a good little donut of lube. I want it running, I want it dripping down there. The juice runs down my, squeeze my lemon till the juice runs down my, all right, maybe not that much. And it occurs to me, while the glue is still somewhat malleable, I should make sure that these all line up. So I'm going to do a test fit here. This one is a little bit off. I 
and now I'm hitting the clamps. Let me see, I think the clamps have done their job at this point. Oh my god. That is a beautiful thing. That's beautiful. Alright. Those lined up. I'll just let these dry all the way. So yeah, at this point, I think I'm gonna call this one done. Throw it together in one afternoon. It's not gonna win any beauty prizes. We're not building a church. Looks very nice. Just got a couple little rough spots there. Sits in there. Super money. I'm gonna line it up a little bit, but then once it gets started, it's like, that's in there. It's not going anywhere. Get this on here. Gravity does its thing, holds it steady. Three six pound drivers. Look at, look at, show me, look at. That's money. All right, cool. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Dead tree carcasses. Let's see what we come up with next.